I always kind of struggled with who I was from an early age because I had a crush on a little girl and it was it was kind of downhill and Good Shepherd is a Catholic school so let's just say it was very apparent that people knew that I was different more than I did. <laughs> and she made my grandfather tell me that was gonna go to hell and pull out the Bible and say, you know, recite Bible verses. That's how my mom took it. She took me up to my grandfather to have that. And Kids deserve a safe environment for to go to school and, and bathrooms are that. You can't leave students behind. Everybody deserves that, to have that in a public school. And to let kids use their preferred gender bathroom is the first step. But the second step is that there aren't just trans men and trans women. There are non-binary students and we need to make separate, we need to make accommodations for them. No child left behind. And we, we've, we've had a tough year. Well, we used to give out bathroom keys, but that didn't go too well because of the school board. We don't have a great school board. They don't really care about the students, and it's a shame. But they took away the bathroom keys. We were promised that everybody who wanted to use the bathroom would get a bathroom key, and they said no. So now only like two students that are holding on their bathroom keys are, have them, and we're supposed to go to the nurse. But the nurse isn't really cooperative. She wants kids to out themselves every single time that they go to the bathroom. Like, why are you here? Well, I'm trans, you know, I want to go to the bathroom, I want to use your bathroom. When it shouldn't be that way, it should just be airy, she should just leave her bathroom unlocked and have students come in. It would make it easier, but now these kids have to hold, hold it all day until they get home. So, because they don't feel comfortable. I mean, I understand, because like, there's graffiti on the walls about me all the time. <laughs> kids deserve a bathroom, and school should be willing to help. When it comes to everywhere else in the world, people just need to be. I think that we have always struggled with bathrooms since they ever existed. You know, women at first couldn't, were, it was uncomfortable to see women in public. And so they couldn't have men and women in the same bathroom, so they made men and women bathrooms. And then, but also black people weren't allowed in bathrooms and the, that whole segregation. And now, there should be a segregation between trans people too? No. It's just as if it were black people. It's it's just that simple. It's just a place to pee and for it to for uh, for me to be demonized as a as a molester, you know, like <laughs> look at me. <laughs> no. It, it's 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 really it's ignorance. I'm the queer, you know, I'm the trans gay guy. I mean, I used to I used to be a lesbian. I, and I used to be the lesbian on the football team. So yeah, I used to have them. I yeah, I definitely used to be a target. I mean, at the beginning of the school year, there were graffiti on the walls about me saying, "Stay out, Toddy, you trans fuck," and just like different things like that. Uh, the, I mean, it's high school. It's to be expected, and. I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all because I just know that they just don't have the bigger picture. 